Hi everybody, this is Lara with your end of the week video for US Oil for the trading week ending Friday 3rd of January. This is the first video for the new year of 2020. The triangle was invalidated with a new high by a small amount and so the only wave count left for the main bearish wave count is a combination unfolding further sideways. I expect an upward swing is finding resistance and is quite likely done. I'm expecting a downward swing to develop here to either 47.25 or 44.05. Elliott wave analysis first, classic analysis last. This remains the main Elliott wave count, expecting the bear market for US oil is likely to continue. The structure in terms of Elliott wave is a double zigzag. The first zigzag in the double, complete down here, is labelled cycle wave W. The double is joined by a three in the opposite direction, labelled cycle wave X. And a second zigzag in the double is expected to continue, labelled cycle Y, subdividing A, B, C. Primary B may not move beyond the start of primary A. Primary C to end cycle wave Y should end reasonably below the end of cycle W so that the whole structure for the double zigzag has a clear downward slope. Double zigzags should have a fairly good slope. They are not sideways corrections, or at least they should not be. Primary wave B is expected to be continuing sideways as a big consolidation with swings from resistance to support and back again. A swing up to resistance is expected to be over here or very soon. A swing down to support is expected to develop. Then another swing up to resistance before the structure is complete. Let's take a look at the weekly chart now with a high for cycle X. Is this point up here? Here's the beginning of cycle wave Y which must subdivide as a zigzag. Subdividing 5, 3, 5. The structure of primary B is still incomplete and I expect it's going to move sideways for several weeks yet. I had considered it as an Elliott wave triangle but I have had this as a second idea for primary wave B for several weeks now because as I had repeatedly warned, Elliott wave triangles are rather tricky structures just when you think the triangle could be complete or you're confident that it's continuing further it is invalidated and the structure turns out to be something else and so it's essential to consider an alternate alongside an Elliott wave triangle. And this is essentially analogous to classic triangle patterns. Sometimes you get what looks like a breakout only for price to turn around and move back within the triangle pattern and you have to redraw the triangle trend lines and sometimes what you think was a classic triangle turns out to be some kind of big wider ranging consolidation. The Elliott wave structure here for primary wave B is now labelled as a double combination. The first structure in the double is labelled intermediate wave W and it subdivides as a zigzag. The second structure labelled intermediate wave Y begins here and it's subdividing as a flat correction labelled A, B, C. Within it, minor wave B is subdividing itself as a double combination, W a zigzag, X and now Y a flat correction, subdividing 3, 3, 5. Let's take a look at Y at the daily chart level where this high here for X is this point here. So here's the beginning of minor wave B, sorry, minor wave B begins here, W, X, Y, minute wave Y, subdividing as a flat, 3, 3, 5. Minuet B has passed the minimum required 90% the length of Minuet A. Minuet B, a 1.06 length of Minuet A, is within the common range of up to 1.38 times the length of A. I am expecting now Minuet C to move below the end of A to avoid a truncation and a very rare running flat, and the target calculated for Minuet C is for it to exhibit a common Fibonacci ratio in relation to Minuet A for an expanded flat correction. At the monthly chart level this remains an alternate wave count. It considers the possibility that oil is in a new bull market if your own personal technical analysis offers more support to this view, you may choose to follow this Elliott wave count. In terms of Elliott wave though, there are some problems with this wave count which reduce its probability. If oil is in a bull market, then it may have begun down here with a five wave structure up for the first wave, 
a zigzag down for the second wave which is really close to a 0.618 correction of the first wave and a third wave of a third wave may have begun here. Let's take a look at this at the weekly chart level where the high for cycle one is this point here. Here's a zigzag for cycle two. The biggest problem with this wave count, and I showed it in some detail in last week's video, is in the middle of this third wave. If you expect oil is continuing in a bull market, then you must see this movement as a five wave structure if you think the correction for cycle two was over here and it will not subdivide well at all as a five wave structure when we get down to the daily chart level. The problem is in the middle of the third wave here. And so that reduces the probability of this alternate wave count. It's one reason why it's an alternate. The structure for primary wave 2 would be unlikely to be complete. I am seeing it here unfolding as a double combination. W, X and Y is a flat correction subdividing 3, 3, 5. Let's take a look at Y where this high here is this high here. This is where X ends and Y begins of this double combination A, B, C. B has passed the minimum 0.9 required length of minor A for a flat correction. It's a 1.3 length of minor A if it's over at Friday's high and that's still within the common range of up to 1.38. Now this wave count expects C to move below the end of A to avoid a truncation and the target calculated is for it to reach 1.618 the length of A. And so at this stage both Elliott wave counts expect that the upward swing is done and a downward swing should develop here or very very soon indeed. The targets are different. At the monthly chart level oil has been essentially moving sideways for several months now. It's unable to, or it hasn't so far overcome resistance which is about 65. Volume for December declined and so upward movement for the month of December did not have support from volume and these upward months for November and December are much lighter in terms of volume than recent downward months and that would tend to support a bearish outlook for oil after it's completed its consolidation and breaks out. But we need to see a breakout above resistance or below support to have confidence in the next move for oil while it remains within this consolidation zone which is about 65 to just above 50 while it remains within that zone we can't have clarity as to what's going to happen next for oil all we know is it is consolidating. RSI remains neutral, there is plenty of room for price to rise or fall. This week MACD gives a bullish crossover but while prices is, is within a larger consolidation that's not necessarily or should not be given too much weight. It can whipsaw when price is consolidating. If you have a bullish outlook for oil here is some small evidence for it. There is now double bullish divergence with price and on balance volume. We read on balance volume as a leading indicator. Price is not making new highs above these prior highs back here and here but on balance volume has. That suggests an upward breakout from the consolidation whereas volume suggests a downward breakout may be more likely so they're contradicting each other. At the weekly chart level here is a possible triangle pattern in classic technical analysis terms. These are different to Elliott wave triangles. Classic triangles can be either continuation or reversal patterns. This Upward week here last week did saw a close above the upper end of the triangle pattern but it didn't do so with support from volume on the weekly or daily chart and so the upward breakout with the data in hand for last week was suspicious but this week there is a very clear close and an open above the upper edge of the triangle and there is some support now from volume so not as suspicious. I would prefer to wait to see resistance about 50, sorry, 64 and possibly a little bit higher just above 66 clearly overcome with a close above resistance on an upward day with support from volume before I had real confidence that this consolidation is finally over and an upward breakout has occurred. That has not occurred yet. There is still very strong resistance here in this zone that has not yet been overcome. ADX is too low to indicate a trend. 
ATR is declining as price is rising. That indicates some weakness in this upward movement. That's another reason why I want to see a clear close above resistance before I have confidence that price has seen an upward breakout. On balance volume is making new highs prior to price, suggesting an upward breakout may be imminent. RSI is still in neutral territory, stochastics overbroad, which because price is consolidating suggests that an upward swing here may be at an end or at an end very very soon and we may reasonably expect a downward swing to develop from here. At the daily chart level here's this upward swing. Friday has ended possibly with a blow off top and the long upper wick gives a bearish implication to that candlestick look out for some consolidation at least if not the end of the upward swing early next week adx daily chart level indicates an upward trend in place atr indicates that the upward movement has weakness because it's still declining on balance volume is at a new short-term resistance line if it breaks above here that would be a weak bullish signal and we may expect upward movement to continue higher, further to resistance. RSI is now just overbrought, and stochastics is returning to neutral, suggesting the upward swing may actually be over here, finally, and a downward swing may develop. That's all for me this week with your oil analysis. I hope all of our members had a very happy new year.